JP poll time. JP poll is not a ranking. It's a power rating. People cannot make that clear enough. Literally, I can't make it clear enough. No matter how many times I say it, people will come at me. Um, this is the, here. Hello. I would like to introduce you to the model. If you're listening on podcast, that is that is the model. And the model spits this out, and the model is really good at what it does. It wins money for us every year, and I have it once a week spit out ratings, not rankings. Uh, merit doesn't matter. Your record doesn't matter. Who you've beaten really doesn't matter in terms of how it assigns you a rating. All it cares about is who it would favor against who. It's got power ratings for every team in America, and we get the 1 through 25 from it every week. So doesn't mean I agree with it. There are a couple of very notable exceptions, my opinion versus the model even tonight. Last week was just outright egregious, though. So let's see how far the model has come back to the crowd here. 25 through 21, UCLA, still power rated. They're number 25. Ole Miss drops seven spots to number 24. Kansas State climbs to number 23. TCU, the model is just higher on. Jesse, is TCU ranked in the AP that you know of? No, they're not? Okay. So the model's higher on TCU. It sees something in Fort Worth. I don't, but the model does. And the model normally is ahead of the curve a little bit, so we'll see. Florida is number 21, and they're playing Kentucky this week. We move on. I I got no huge issue with anything there. North Carolina's at 20. Now, if you, if you watched Friday Night Lines last week, the model was really, really high on the idea that Pitt was going to cover against North Carolina, and they didn't. So, you know, the model shortchanged North Carolina last week. Maybe it still is. Oregon State dropped five spots. I think the model looked and said, you really let Washington State go off on you like that. Now, I looked and said, uh, excuse me, model, where's Washington State? It did not power rate them. There are 25 teams the model would favor over Washington State right now. Again, this is not Pate State Sportsbook. I don't have to post these numbers, uh, but the model kind of on an island there. B- but, I, you know, the more I look at Connolly's numbers and some of those other guys, they kind of agree. Uh, Miami's at 18 and Texas A&M's at 17. And yet again, you need go back only two weeks, three weeks now, to remember that Miami hung nearly half a hundred on Texas A&M. The model says, don't care. Neutral field tomorrow. Texas A&M still favored, I think, by three-tenths of a point. So negligible. But I'm telling you, I'd pick Miami in that game. And I'd wager uncomfortable amounts of money on it. So, agree to disagree. It's just that normally you say that to a human. I'm saying it to a to an inanimate object over here. Clemson is number 16. They did not fall hardly at all uh, because the, you know, the post-game win expectancy indicated Clemson wins the game against Florida State more often than they lose it. So we didn't punish them at all for that. Next up, top 15. Utah's number 15. Judging by the reputation of this show, I will just blindly assume we're too low on Utah. I don't know how how low, but we're probably too low on Utah. LSU's at 14. They dropped seven spots. One, but dropped seven spots. It's tough around here. Uh, Tennessee is, I don't get it. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. Tennessee climbed nine spots up to 13, and I got to tell you something. I tampered. I did. I tampered. The model's higher on Tennessee than 13, and even Director Collin would probably come in my ear right now, Immunity, and say, nope, you're right. Got to make us earn it. We don't belong in the top 10. The model had Tennessee in the top 10. I tampered. I'm telling you I tampered, and... Normally, that would get you some flack from Tennessee fans. I I think you're kind of giving me a golf clap right now. You know Tennessee's not a top-10 team right now. The model doesn't, but you do. Oklahoma's at 12, unchanged. Notre Dame is at 11, virtually unchanged. We kind of just got the performance we thought we would get from Notre Dame. They they played right to the spread. So any kind of odds-making or power rating system worth its salt, if you get the exact result that the odds indicate you should get, means you don't change the team at all. You don't bump them because they lost, because they played exactly to your expectation. Top 10. We have got Florida State at number 10. Um, got to also tell you this. The model has Clemson above Florida State by one-tenth of a point. So it has them tied. And it had them that way last week. And as I said, they played a game that went to overtime. 
the post-game win expectancy leaned Clemson, which means nothing in the standings because a win is a win by that metric. But in the odds-making community, in the, in the calculator community, doesn't look at it that way. Well, I tampered again because I'm putting Florida State above Clemson. Sorry, I'm just doing it. Michigan number nine, Penn State number eight. I don't argue with people right now who have Penn State as the number one team in the Big Ten. It's just that the model does not agree. And I'm okay because I don't have a strong enough pushback to tamper a third time. USC dropped to number seven. Confusing game against Arizona State. The model noticed. The model punished. Bama's at number six. Bama's a team you need to watch close this next couple of weeks. It's a team that's capable of scaling. Ignition could turn at any moment or the car battery could be dead at any moment. Literally anything can happen with Alabama. But you do not drop a team that talented in the odds-making world. You just don't. I know, I know already the comments are going to say, Bama's way too high. If this was the AP poll, yes, they're too high. It's not the AP poll. It's not a ranking. Let's go top five. Washington's at number five. Too low for me. I look at these teams. I'm going to read five to one. So Washington's five, Oregon's four, Georgia's three, Texas is two, and Ohio State's one. Man... If I put Washington on the field with some of these teams, they'd be terrified right now. So Washington's five, and that's, that's all well and good. Here's the beautiful thing. We get to see Oregon go to Washington in a couple of weeks. I think two weeks from this Saturday, Oregon goes to Seattle. And maybe we go right along with them. We've never been to Seattle with any tour before on late kick. So we'll see. Georgia's number three. Uh, I said Texas is number two. Ohio State maintains their spot as the number one team. And as I was walking out of Notre Dame Stadium, I told you this Sunday night, I'll tell you one more time, hat tip to the couple of fans in the stands there yelling, Ohio State, still number one, JP poll. Well, I told you guys probably, and now absolutely yes, they are still number one. I welcome comments. I welcome feedback. I'm just telling you. Don't be asking me how so-and-so is ranked over so-and-so. These aren't rankings. Don't be asking me how so-and-so with this record is ranked below so-and-so with that record. These aren't rankings. I don't care about record. I already explained to you the methodology. If you don't like it, great news. They have the AP poll already ready for you. 